In this video, I am covering top 25 commonly asked AWS technical interview questions along with their answers. This video helps for people who are looking for job change or freshers or if anyone wants to learn AWS basics. If you are preparing for job interview for any of the roles or in any company, you are in the right place to learn now. Please stay tuned till end of this video. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Career Hub. I am on the mission to help and support people who are eagerly looking to get a job. If you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit on the subscribe button and stay tuned till end of this video. Alright, let's deep dive on the topic now. Let's start with the very basic question, what is AWS? AWS is Amazon Web Services is a cloud computing platform that offers a variety of services such as computing power, storage options and networking, allowing businesses to scale and grow without the need for any physical infrastructure. Second question, what are the main benefits of using AWS? Benefits includes scalability, flexibility, cost effectiveness, security and a vast range of services to meet different business needs. Third question, why do you want to work in AWS? I want to work in AWS domain because because of its industry demands, versatility, innovation, career advancement, or I can have a hands-on experience on the practical resources and labs for effective learning and applications. Fourth question is, what is EC2 in AWS? So EC2 is nothing but Elastic Compute Cloud. It is a web service that provides resizable compute capacity in the cloud allowing users to run virtual servers and manage workloads. Question number 5. What is S3 in AWS? Amazon S3 is simple storage service. It is a scalable object storage service used for storing and retrieving any amount of data at any time from anywhere on the web. Question number 6. What is an IAM role? So IAM is here identity and access management roles which are used for AWS identifies the specific permissions that allow users to perform actions on AWS resources without needing to manage long-term credentials. Question number seven, what is VPC? VPC is virtual private cloud. It is a private network in the AWS cloud where users can define their own network configurations such as IP address ranges, subnets and other root tables as well. So now the question number 8 is, what is the difference between horizontal and vertical scaling? Horizontal scaling involves adding more instances to handle increased load, while vertical scaling involves upgrading the existing instances to more powerful ones. Question number 9, what is AWS Lambda? So here the AWS Lambda is a serverless computing service that allows users to run code in the response to events without any provisioning or managing the servers. So now question number 10 is what is RDS? So RDS is Relational Database Service. It is a managed relational database service that supports multiple database engines like MySQL, PostgreSQL or Oracle providing easy setup operations and scalability. So question number 11 here is what is the difference between S3 and EBS? Here, Amazon S3 is an object storage service ideal for storing and retrieving any amount of data. While EBS that is Elastic Block Store, it is used as a block storage for EC2 instances. Next question number 12. What is cloud formation? AWS cloud formation is a service that allows users to define and provision AWS infrastructure as code using templates enabling automation and consistency in resource management. Next, question number 13, what is AWS auto scaling? So here AWS auto scaling helps ensure that the right number of Amazon EC2 instances are running to handle the load of your application by automatically adjusting the capacity. Question number 14 is, what is root 53? So Amazon root 53 is a scalable and highly available domain name system that is DNS web service designed to root end users to internet applications. Next, question number 15. What is a security group in AWS? A security group acts as a virtual firewall for your EC2 instances, controlling inbound and outbound traffic based on the specified rules. Next is question number 16. What is the AWS shared responsibility model? 
So this model outlines the security responsibilities of AWS and the customer. AWS manages security of the cloud infrastructure, infrastructure while customers manage security in the cloud that is data protection, access control, etc. Question number 17. What is the difference between a public and a private subnet? A public subnet allows direct access to the internet while a private subnet does not. Instances in a private subnet cannot communicate directly with the internet. And question number 18. What is an elastic load balancer that is ELB? An ELB automatically distributes incoming application traffic across multiple targets such as EC2 instances to ensure availability and fault tolerance. Question number 19. What is AWS Cloud Trial? AWS Cloud Trial is a service that enables governance of compliance and operational and risk auditing by logging AWS API calls and resource changes. Question number 20. What is a multi-availability zones deployment in RDS? A multi-AZ deployment provides high availability by automatically replicating the databases in a standby instance in a different availability zone. Question number 21. What are AWS availability zones? Availability zones are isolated locations within a region that provides redundancy and fault tolerance helping to ensure high availability and applications. Question number 22. What is AWS Elastic Beanstalk? AWS Elastic Beanstalk is a platform as a service that, that is PAAS that makes it easy to deploy, manage and scale web applications and services without worrying about the underlying in infrastructure. Next question is, what are AWS tags? So tags are key value pays assigned to AWS resources that help in organizing and managing resources by categorizing them based on the projects, departments or cost centers. Question number 24. What is Amazon CloudWatch? So Amazon CloudWatch is a monitoring service that provides data and actionable insights for AWS resources and applications, enabling users to track performance and operational health. And the last question is question number 25. What is the AWS well-architected framework? The AWS well-architected framework provides best practices and guidelines to help cloud architects to build secure, high-performing, resilient and efficient infrastructure for the applications. So here, I have covered top 25 AWS technical questions and answers. I will be covering another top 25 questions along with the answers in upcoming video on the same topic AWS services. I hope this information helped you in many ways to learn and to prepare for your next interview. Thanks for watching. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button. Thank you.